their flaw isn't much of a flaw. It's a bit different than the other clans. The Tremere are usurpers. They were not an original vampire clan. They, they're, when, when they became uh, created by their own means, which would take a minute to get into, they dabblerized another vampire, a uh, leader of another vampire clan named Salat, and uh, that could be a whole video getting to that whole plot line. But they, they're not an original clan, and their clan weakness is that they only, uh, they're one step towards being bloodbound to, to their clan elders. The real weakness is though that in Tremere you don't have a lot of autonomy. Your leaders will tell you what to do. You shouldn't I don't think they make very good players because they don't have that autonomy that a player needs to have. If you're you're high you're basically a spy on anyone else in your coterie because you're going to have to report to your to your higher ups and if you don't you will be bloodbound. Uh, the next is the Venture. They are my least favorite clan. I think they're very bland. Uh, their flaw is they can only drink one kind of blood whether it's the blood of people who are dead, uh, teenage males, um, animals, whatever you pick. It's, that's, that's it. The rest of it, they'll just vomit back up. They are typically the leaders. The uh, scepter is their symbol. They have the disciplines of fortitude, dominate, and presence. Uh, dominate and presence work very well in conjunction with one another. And you start burning off someone's willpower, and you're going to catch them with with one of those disciplines or the other. Uh, particularly if you're there's three or four of you there, uh, your your mind's probably going to be taken. Next, we're going to talk about the two main clans of the Sabbat. There are a number of members of other clans in the Sabbat, but these are the two clans that are primarily there: the Lasombra, who are almost sort of a dark reflection of the Ventru, and their flaw is they do not have reflections. They are much like Dracula, as he looked into the mirror, he, you know, he could not see himself. And the Sombra cannot. They have Dominate and Potence, which I've explained, but they also have a, a discipline unique to themselves, which is called Obtenebration, which has to do with using shadows and commanding them up to the point of, of having them uh, grab and attack people. Uh, there it's can have some quite interesting ramifications. The next is my favorite clan, Although I do not like the Sabbat, the next clan is, is my favorite, uh, the Jimisei. They are Eastern Europe. This is, Dracula is, is actually a character in the Vampire the Masquerade game. They have stats for him, and he is a Jimisei. The Jimisei have a discipline called Vicissitude, which allows them to change your flesh, your bones, to make you into anything that they want, from drapes to furniture to a carpet to being part of a hundred-foot-tall monster they can change you, your form to anything and they become uh, this suit itself is sort of a not really a vampiric discipline more of a demonic infestation and it drives you absurdly crazy you start to to think all sorts of odd things and they change themselves to, to look very odd a lot of the gods of the Indian mythology actually in the World of Darkness game are uh, Um uh, by India, I mean the, the country India, not Native Americans. Um, their other other disciplines are animalism and aspects. There are a number, a large number, of Jimacy variants in the game which have different disciplines. Uh, that's a whole video in itself. They're they are very they're the most territorial clan. Uh, most of them are Eastern European, and they have to have the dirt from the country. Of, of their origin or even from their grave. The independent clans, uh, first are the Asimites. Uh, I don't like the Asimites. They seem to be to me a, a sort of a bastion for problem players. They don't make good player characters because Asimites come in, do a job, and leave. That's the way they should be. The, mechanically, they have tried to come up with all sorts of ideas that don't fit with a clan to say, oh, well, this city has an Asimite that's a sheriff or, or whatever. To, to me, those ideas are bad. Asimites are assassins. They hail predominantly from the Middle East. Um, their disciplines are celerity and obfuscate. Obviously, you can see all those who would be very nice for an assassin. You don't see them, and then they, they start hitting you a bunch of times before you can do anything. They have a dis discipline that's unique called quietus, which uh, allows them to do aggravated damage, um, um, among other things, to, to create a zone of silence. Um, there, I'm actually going to have to look at their, what their, uh, this is the first time I've had to cheat here. Uh, what is their weakness? Hmm. 
Well, I can't I can't find it quickly, but uh, I'm not actually sure what their weakness is. Like I said, I don't like Asimites. I don't play Asimites. Uh, I don't have much interest in them. Next, the Followers Set, a clan that I love. Uh, maybe my second favorite clan. They are followers of Set, as in the Egyptian god Set, as in Set, who is a third generation vampire. They have a different take on vampire mythology. They essentially say Set was the progenitor of vampires, the first generation. He was actually the third, according to the mythology, and the antediluvian is what they call them. Antediluvian meaning before the deluge, before uh, the biblical flood. Their disciplines are Serpentis, which is a unique discipline. Uh, they make their eyes turn sort of serpentine and can dazzle you with them. They can do aggravated damage with a, with a serpent-like tongue attack. Uh, and at higher levels, they can actually even take their heart out and put it somewhere, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, vampire hearts are tremendous weakness because if they get staked, they are paralyzed. Stake doesn't kill a vampire, but it does paralyze them. Uh, their other their other disciplines are presence and obfuscate. They uh, are are they do very poorly uh, in bright light, being preachers of, of the darkness. The next clan are the Giovanni, who are Italian necromancers. They killed the uh, Cappadocians, Augustus Giovanni, their founder, who was a Cappadocian, ended up doblerizing uh, his sire, uh, Escher or Cappadocius, and they usurped their position. Uh, their disciplines are dominate, potence, and necromancy. I, I really doubt I need to explain necromancy to, uh, to, to, to anyone on here. They are forbidden from dealing in vampiric politics. Uh, the next clan is the Ravnos. The Ravnos are vampire gypsies. They're very similar to the Gangrel, and I think they're almost too similar to the point of being redundant and not being particularly necessary or useful. Uh, their disciplines are Chemistry, which is a discipline of illusions, fortitude, and animalism. Uh, their flaw is they need to, they need to continuously be moving around. Uh, that is all 13 vampire clans and their clan disciplines. Uh, please leave comments below, and if there's anything that you'd like to know about the game of Vampire the Masquerade, uh, please let me know, because there's so much to talk about. I'd like to have a little direction before I start doing a, a ton of these videos. Thank you.